Hi traders, I'm back. That's right traders, I am back. Now what does that exactly mean? Well, it's been a while since I've regularly uploaded to my YouTube channel, but that is about to change. Now I always knew that in 2018 I wanted to rededicate myself to the channel here. And that time has come. I knew I couldn't do it in the first quarter of the year, but the second quarter has arrived. And I am ready to rededicate myself to uploading on a regular basis so that you can upload your trading progress. Now, as many of you know, Trade the Open Like a Boss became one of the most popular trading series on YouTube. And I'm ready to extend those videos. So today, I begin that journey. I begin building upon those 18 videos that have helped so many thousands of traders raise their level of sophistication as far as short-term trading is concerned. So today I have the 19th installment for you and every Monday thereafter for this year I intend to post a new Trade the Open Like a Boss video. Now today I have a very special issue for you. I'll be going over the trades that helped me produce over $4,000 in less than 38 minutes. I will be going into great detail of the last trade of the bunch that helped me do that. Today was also an extended trading day for me because the market was down quite a bit and I managed to take gains over $9,000. I missed my $10,000 mark by just a bit, but I did manage to grab a $9,000 gain, which I'm showing to you right now. However, Today is a very special day because it's the first new day of my new YouTube channel. So please enjoy. Over the next several minutes, I'm going to show you all the trades that helped me produce my morning gain. And after that, we will specifically delve into the very last trade of the morning for our educational purposes here today. So make sure you stick around. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and more specifically, turn notifications on because we're about to take things to a completely brand new level. Now, very shortly, I'll be coming out with a full video detailing everything that I plan to do with this channel. The schedule, the new events that we're going to have here, both live and recorded. So make sure that you're a permanent member here. You're going to raise your level of market sophistication to levels never seen before. Mark my word. Now let's get into the trading. Okay, guys, we are off and running. Things have gapped down pretty sizably here this morning, indicating some initial weakness. That does not necessarily mean that it's a short morning, but we'll have to see how things develop. Uh, there are two types of scenarios here that will develop after gaps to the downside in particular. You usually have an attempt by stocks to move back up into the gap to fill a portion of its gapped down state or position. Or right from the gap down position, there's an initial drop to the downside. But in this case, I believe we're starting to see some strength come in off the lows. These things are moving back into their gaps. I believe that move back into the gaps will set up some nice shorting opportunities for us. So... Here we go, guys. Let's get ready to do this right now. It's short time.
So there you have it, traders, my first 38 minutes of trading. I wanted to delve a little bit deeper into my last trade here, BABA, which is based on my gift concept. It's a concept that I've talked about before in the past, and I will try to link a past video in the upper right hand corner for you to refer to. But the gift concept is based on the notion of violence. And violence is a very reliable concept when it comes to trading stocks that have moved in a very extreme way in one direction or another. Now, I've always taught my traders that when a stock moves far away from its two key moving averages, the 200 period moving average and the 20 period simple moving average, that the stock is more prone to have a fairly strong move back toward one or more of those key moving averages. And it's not that you're supposed to anticipate when that is going to happen, but you should be rather ready for it to happen once you reach a position in your stock that moves far away from those two key moving averages. And BABA fits this criteria where it dropped quite substantially shortly after it's open, separating itself from the key 20 period moving average, which is the blue line that you see, and very far away from its 200 period moving average, which is the red line that you see. Now, once I noticed Baba's extreme separated position, I looked for a violent move back in the direction toward those moving averages. And I've always taught my traders that once a stock demonstrates violence back toward its key moving averages from a very, very wide separated state, that one can be rather safe most of the time diving or jumping directly into that violence, which is what you saw me do. I waited for the violence to happen in BABA first, and I dove into, the, into that specific violence. Now, some people might say, well, I missed the bottom of the move, but this is missing the main point. It's not overly important to grab the bottom of the move, which is more of a gambling act on the part of a trader, but it is to wait for violence to occur off of a low like I did on, on BABA and to dive into it with the idea that if the stock pulls back into the former violent move up, that that move down into the violence zone, which is what I have historically referred to as the gift zone, is a buying opportunity. So this is when you saw me initially buy into BABA. And because BABA had a small move up, I decided to take some gains off the table, but the real play was my expectation for BABA to drop a little bit back into that violent zone. And that violent zone, which I call the gift zone, is a very nice cushion most of the time. Now, that doesn't mean that it's going to work 100%, which is why you saw in the video, I had my protective stop, at least mentally, under the origin of that violent push upward. But I am very confident buying on the way down, which a lot of novices do not understand, but I am very confident buying on the way down if that move to the downside is moving back into a former zone of a violent push to the upside. So the push to the upside is the first act of institutional sponsorship or institutional buying. And institutions tend not to just come in one time. So the fact that I identified one violent push up gave me the confidence that a secondary push up, even though there was a temporary setback, a secondary push up out of that violent zone was very highly likely. Now, I would love for you to refer back to an older video that 
explains the concept of the gift zone perhaps a little more thoroughly, but that's what was behind this final play. And I'm really fortunate to have this opportunity to speak about this again because this is this because this concept that I play quite frequently is the cause for a lot of questions I get. Oliver, why are you buying and the stock is going down? Isn't that gambling? Isn't that guessing? No, it's not gambling or guessing if the move down is moving down into a prior violent area of strength. And that is what is called technical support. Now, I hope this video has been somewhat helpful to you. Be on the lookout for many, many more coming every single Monday. As I mentioned before, I plan very much to continue my Trade the Open Like a Boss series. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, and let's make 2018 one of the most pivotal, one of the most important, one of the most profitable years of your trading life. Ciao for now, traders. Boom!